this is Belmont Harbor, Chicago, Illinois. Hello YouTubers, it's Bill, and today we're going to go sailing on the Sassafras. Come on along. And this is the mighty sailing vessel Sassafras. The Sassafras will be the adventure today. You know, this does appear to be a serious racing boat. I could be in for big trouble. I mean, they've got a compass here mounted in the in the combing of the cockpit, and um, it doesn't really look like it's rigged up for a pleasure cruise, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh -oh. So, YouTubers, my friend uh, Julie over there gave me yeah. a fishing line with a magnet on it. She says there's a lock and her keys at the bottom of the of the slip here from the last time she was here. And could I use the magnet and the rope and please find them? Sure, I'll do that. The results, that's right, it wasn't a negative it wasn't achievement. Negative. It was a zero achievement <laughs> for getting using the magnet to pull the right. keys I mean, and lock out of the we, water. We didn't it was fail o at using the magnet. It was over for 2, right? I mean, there were two things to pull up and I got zero. Three, actually, and you got zero. It's, oh, for two, three. Two, yeah. Two uh, bike locks. Uh, this story's going on way long enough. <laughs> hey, Julie, could you put these away for me? <laughs> Well, you're not going to spend the whole cruise, the whole race, putting, cruise. putting my cruise. <laughs> See, I gave myself your, away again. Once your, again, your I'm, crap I, away. I've been misled. I thought this was a pleasure sale. <laughs> but no. And Julie is getting us underway. And Antonio we and... sign a waiver. None of us signed waivers. Oh, I, I have to sign a waiver for this? No, I wasn't. I was not recording right now. So, Kelly used the word fetish. Antonio said, I'm living the Truman Show. Julie says, really, there's not much of an explanation for you. Uh, Antonio said, you know, most people who hold a camera don't want to be talking to the camera. I said, well, you haven't met me yet. <laughs> Big picture is you're the skip. You're driving. You're helping. I'm driving. Driving the boat. Driving Antonio the winning race. Antonio is going to sit right here yeah. and trim the main. Got it. And you and Kelly are going to... Can we do it from here? From right here? Don't I look good in this yellow? Yellow and white, it's a good color for me. I think the size for that is... And then we're gonna, um... We're racing now. <laughs> okay. We're racing now. <laughs> you can really tell it's a serious racing boat. It's got a Kevlar jib that is like a um, like a sheet of steel, up there. and that means it means what? Racing. But it costs a lot. Expensive and racing. This boat is a Tartan 10. That means the manufacturer is a Tartan, and it's 10 meters long. That's about 40 feet. 32 feet. Which is not really 10 meters, it's something else. Julie, I wasn't paying attention to you. Time. Yes. For taking pictures because we'll be too busy. Oh, I know that. The camera goes in the water. You know, I don't think I don't think I can swim that far. Really. So this is the part where Julie yells at me for making a video. But my legs are over the side. It's the lee side this time because the wind is so light. There's a lot of boats out here. That one's pretty close. It is a beautiful sunset over the city of Chicago. But this is the calm before the storm as Antonio is up here rigging the spinnaker so it's ready to go. What a beautiful sunset. This is the beautiful skyline of Chicago. We're gonna tag. About 40 minutes to sunset. And that guy is the Pegasus. Uh, pull tips off. Yeah. So that was pretty exciting. One of the spinnaker sheets, the starboard spinnaker sheet broke. We had to replace the light sheets with the heavy sheets. And we did it with the spinnaker still up. It is light winds today. It's a beautiful night racing. Curve. Verve verb. is a verb, but nude is an acronym. And no, it's not spelled N U D E, it's N O O D. I don't think there are. National One Design Offshore. National Offshore One Design. And Verve, do we know what Verve stands for? No, it's not an acronym. It is not an acronym, that's an acronym.
okay, it's a verb. I have to look. That's what Google's for. Look it up. I don't know how much of this you can see. The city at night, the lake, and here's the boat. That's Kelly. That's Antonio. That's Julie. It's very dark here. But that's me. Can you see my head? It's a giant head.